Welcome all. Today's lesson is going to be about personal pronouns. In English, personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, etc. Same goes with Arabic. We also have personal pronouns, but it's much more than in English. This picture is all of the personal pronouns, so make sure you take a screenshot. Now we will go through them each. I is Anna. Anna. I, Anna. We. Nah, no. Nah, no. I, Anna. We, Nahnu. Anna, Nahnu. When it comes to the word you, you is different in Arabic. We have you for masculine, you for feminine, you for dude, you for masculine plural, you for feminine plural. Starting with you for masculine. Anta. Anta. This is for singular masculine. And anti, anti for singular feminine. Antuma, antuma for dual. For dual, we have anta, anti. Antuma. And for singular, plu I mean for plural masculine, it's Anton. Anton. And for plural feminine, Antunna. Antunna. We have Anta, Anti, Antuma. Anto, Antuna. Let's repeat. Anta, Anti, Antuma, Antom, Antuna. Moving on to he and she. In Arabic, we don't have such a thing called it. It's always she or he. No, it. He is. Hua. Hua. It's for singular masculine and for singular feminine is hia. Hia. Hua. Hia. Hua. Hia. For dual, remember when I said antuma? Remember when I said antuma is for dual? It's huma. Huma. So when you see an alif in the end, it's dual. Huma. Huma. Same goes with same goes with plural masculine. We say it was. Antum. Now it's home. Home. For plural masculine, home. And for plural feminine, it was Antuna. It's gonna be. Hunna. Hunna. Hua. Hia. Homa. Hom. Hunna. Hua. Hia. Homa. Hom. Hunna. Let's repeat all one more time. Repeat after me. How to say I? Anna. Anna. 
وي نحن نحن أنا نحن يو is different أنت أنت for singular masculine and for singular feminine أنتي أنتي أنت أنتي for دول أنتما أنتما I think ends with this is أنتما and for singular plural masculine and ton and ton and for plural feminine and tuna and tuna anta anti antuma anton and tuna he she is he هو هو he for singular she for singular هي هي هو هي دول هو ما هما هما for singular for plural singular هم هم and for plural singular هنا هنا هو هي هما هم هنا one more time I أنا we نحن you for singular أنت you for singular feminine أنت دول أنتما plural أنتم أنتنا أنت أنتي أنتما أنتم أنتنا he she هو هي هو هي هما فضول هما هم هنا هو هي هما I hope you repeat. You are repeating after me. Exercise time. I want you to pause the video and give it a try. Three, two, one. Let's do it. First word is antom. Antom is plural. Plural for what? For masculine. Used as they. They for plural masculine. Well done if you get it right. Second word is نحنو. نحنو. نحنو is we. We. Including yourself. Third word is هو. هو. هو is for masculine. Singular. And it's going to be he. Well done. أنتما. أنتما anything that ends with a ألف like that it means for dual أنتما is they for dual أنا everybody knows أنا is I I am أنا and lastly أنتي أنتي is as you see it's أنتي so it's definitely a phonem singular and for you you feminine great job if you get them all correct let's use what we have learned to create some sentences let's try and create this sentence in Arabic I am a man I am a man I already told you that I is أنا أنا ما رجل رجل 
I am Alan. أنا رجل. أنا رجل. أنا رجل. However, what if I decided to say I am the man? Concept is almost the same. I am is Anna. The is L to something. And man is Rajul. I am the man. Anna. The. L. Rajul. Anna Rajul. Anna Rajul. We are in the school. We are in the school. Let me break it. We are is. Nahnu. Nahnu. In. I've taught you in my previous lessons. It's fi. Fi. The. El. And school is. Madrasa. We are in the school. Nahnu. Fil. مدرسة نحن في المدرسة نحن في المدرسة You are kind We want to say that to a singular masculine You are kind You are kind Okay, so you are Starting with you are I've already taught you you are. You are is. And could be. Anta. Anti. Antuma. I can't say the plural, but it's either this or this. So we are gonna assume that it's a man. So we say anta. And kind is latif. أنت لطيف. أنت لطيف. You are kind. أنت لطيف. أنت لطيف. How to say you are beautiful and it's a she. You are. You are beautiful. You are. I said it's. Anta or anti, but it's a singular phenolem. So we're gonna say anti. Anti. Beautiful is Jamil, but since it's a phenolem, we say Jamila. Jamila. Anti Jamila. Anti Jamila. You are beautiful. Now I want you to do this sentence on your own. You are the women. You are the women. Just one clue. It's women and not women. It's plural. Pause the video and give it a try. I hope you've done it so far. Okay. Starting with you are. You are is followed by plural, plural feminine. So it's gonna be and tuna. And tuna. It's gonna be and tuna. And and tuna what? Women. The women. That is and and what? Women. Nisa. Nisa, antunna nisa, antunna nisa. You are the women. Antunna nisa. Let's move to another sentence, and I yes, I do want you to give it a try on your own before watching the video. You are smart. 
You are smart. Okay. You are smart. It is plural masculine. Let me give you a head. Plural masculine. For a group of men. You are. You are. I said it's plural. It's gonna be Anton. Anton. And smart is the key, but it's plural. It's gonna be Ethkia. Ethkia. Anton Ethkia. Anton Ethkia. Anton Ethkia. That's a new word. The plural of smart. He is strong. He is strong. He is. He. It's masculine. Let's say it's masculine and for singular. Masculine for singular is he. Hoa. Hoa. Strong. Kawi. Hoa. Kawi. Hoa Kawi. He is strong. Hoa Kawi. She is smart. She is smart. Pause the video and give it a try. She for singular because it is. Uh, it's gonna be. Hey ya, hey ya. Smart is the key, but it's. Mask for feminine, not for masculine. This one is for masculine, so it's gonna be the key. Hey, the key. Hey, the key. She is smart. Hey, the key. Now I want you to translate this sentence for me. I'm gonna write it in Arabic, and you have to write it down in English. The sentence is until walad al Let's solve it together. Anta is you are. There is L. So the. This word means boy. El walad and al There is L. The طويل means tall. You are the boy the tall. Yes, it doesn't make sense. If we want to structure it in English, we say you are the tall boy. Why? In Arabic, we always put the noun after. A noun comes before the adjective. Unlike in English, in English, you put the adjective before the noun. Make sure you are aware of this concept. Next sentence, I'm gonna also write it in Arabic and I want you to translate it for me in English. You can write the, your answers in the comment section. Let's do it. He is. He is. There is no the al, so it's gonna be a and boy. Walad is boy. Kawi, strong. Again, this doesn't sound in English right, so we say he is a strong boy instead of he is a boy strong. is a strong boy hope you found this helpful and it makes sense thank you for watching if you want to learn arabic but you don't know from where to start then i recommend you to start watching from this playlist where i organize my lessons i'll keep the link in my description box 
Uh, however, if you also think that it's not enough, then I recommend you to keep on answering my community post. It's in, on my YouTube channel. And also I do revisions in my Instagram stories and posts. So make sure you give that a follow too. Please make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.